Hey everybody, I'm Seth. I'm Michael. Today we're checking out CBSK. And this is from Hatchet. And it plays 2 to 16 It's players. a party game. Uh, yeah. It's a trivia game. It's, yes. Whew. Said otherwise, it plays 1 to 4 teams of 1 to 4 players. No, 2 to... It, Two to four teams of one to four players each. I'll get it right here in a second. <laughs> in about 45 minutes. Or you could play an express game yeah. that takes about half as long. Nice. So. We're going to opt for the full game today. Yeah. Because it's pretty it's pretty easy to teach and then we'll yes. just have fun. Now, I'm going to set up the game. Are you ready? Go ahead and go to the overhead. Let's set up this game. Yeah. And. <laughs> It's set up. How cool is that? That's much the easiest setup. I mean, that's the easiest setup there is. You just need to find some trinkets. Yes. You need to find some playing pieces because, behold, there are no playing pieces for this game. You could use a red devil. You could use some meeples. You could use a dice tower piece. <laughs> Whatever you have laying around, right? You could use a button cell battery or a gold coin or even... <laughs> A little pink pig. So, we have a variety of objects that we are going to use. Steph has decided that her team is going to be the little pink pig. And uh, I think I'm going to be the gold coin. Yeah. It's random. On the Liberty it's Randolph Games side. with uh, Hashat distributing. Yes. Wimp says Thanks, buffering. Team. I don't see any. We don't even have drop frames. So you should refresh, Wimp. Yeah. So. Oh, it's from Randolph. Yeah, got you. All right. So um, what you're going to do is uh, on your turn, uh, you are going to. Oh, do we actually start on the C space? I think we're on the actual C space. Because on. No, on it. From here, you move out this direction. I remember now because we were on the little ticket mm. when we played when we played our Express Star game with uh, with our friends James and Susan. So there are four categories. What are those categories? They are C, D, S, and K. Right. C stands for curious, which is very precise or bizarre subjects. Mm. The D stands for delightful, uh, where you're going to get. Things related to movies and music and sports. The S are things that are seasoned, like grown-up stuff and the school of life. And the K is knowledge. 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 Mm. Science, nature, history, and geography. So, if you are on a category space, for example, if you are on the C, then a player from uh, the team to your left will draw a card from the top of the deck and read the subject written at the top of the card. And they're going to say, basically all of them will say, how well do you know, on a scale from one to 10, how well do you know, let's go ahead and take one from the back, imaginary animals. Mm. And Steph will say, four well. Four. I'm going to look at number four on here and I'm going to say, is a beast that is half man and half bull called a centaur, a minotaur, a Cerberus, or a catoblepus. And then Steph will answer. If she gets it right, she will move forward Pre for spaces. I'm pretty sure it's a minotaur, but I could be wrong. <laughs> so you're going to have approximately 31 seconds to answer. Since we're playing with people in the chat, we're going to give more than 31 seconds. However, you're right. It is a minotaur. I uh, figured it was you that. You are correct. Some of them are multiple choice. Some of them are not. Yes. So keep in mind. Now, you might have already guessed this, but if you said one, then your question's probably going to be pretty easy. If you say 10, you're probably going to have to answer a super hard question on that subject. So, um, if your team answers incorrectly, nothing bad happens. But either way, your turn will end. There are certain spaces on here that look like the little tickets. These are challenge spaces. Uh, if you are on a challenge space, then a player on the team to your left will take the top card of the challenge deck and read the title of the card and the instructions and the questions. Um, most of these, a lot of these that I have uh, seen will have a series of questions or 
you will have to answer as many of something as you can, and you're going to get one point for each correct answer. And that's sort of cool. So it sort of gives you partial credit. Hmm. So I sort of, uh, I like that. So if you find yourself on the final space, you have to answer a hurry up and win question. Those are in the very back here. These are the hurry up and win questions in the very back. You'll notice that there is a section for each. These are the hurry up and wins. If you can answer one of the hurry up and win questions, then you are going to win. If you answer incorrectly, you just stay where you are and you try again with the next card on your next turn. So, okay, that's pretty much it. So, uh, I am going to double check here. Do, 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 do. Yes, place it on the classic start space. And you can start off with a category of your choice. I so, will start off with... Oh, are you starting off? Yep. Because you have someone on your team. I... T is in the chat. T is playing on Steph's team. I don't have any. All right. What do you want to start off with? My Let's team. It. Maybe I want you to go first. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go first because I don't want you to say, "Oh, I won just because I was first. <laughs> so you and T, y'all can go first. All right. What do you want? Um, I was just giving you a little hard time. Mm. I do. S. S. Yeah, I'm bad at K too. We're not doing K. <laughs> he says anything but K. <laughs> On a scale from one to ten, how well do y'all know UNESCO World Heritage Sites? <laughs> zero. I don't know. Zero. Negative yes. three. I don't even know what that means. So maybe T knows. UNESCO World yes. Heritage Site. Like two. Like two. <laughs> Let's go with two because then we won't end up on a K. A two will put you on a D. A three is on a K. Two. Maybe we can make an educated guess. Does the Great Wall of China completely surround the country and every citizen has keys for the nearest door? No. I can't possibly be right. <laughs> so I'm going to go. But let's see. Uh, no, LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is no, but that would be cool. That would, that would be cool. No, no, but that would be cool. So. I like that that had to be clarified, but that would be cool. You went forward to space. Yeah, we did. All right. What do you want? Give me a C. What's that? This? Curious, yes. All right. Um, On a scale of one to ten, how well do you know beetles, as in the bug? Uh, You make me kill them all the time. Beetles? You made me kill beetles and little creepy crawlies and all sorts of things. I hate bugs. Yes. I still remember that time when T wrote on Twitter that a big spider ran over her foot in the shower. Oh, Rhine, the Rhine Valley is a UNESCO World Heritage Site? I did not know that it's story. Cause, it's because it's it scarred me, T, that I remember that story. Because I would, I would flip out. Um, Give me a four. So I can be on an S. I'm going to do some S next time. Four. Four. What car brand's Type 1 model is pop popularly known as a beetle or a bug? What could it be? Hmm. I thought it was called the Volkswagen Beetle. You going to go with that? Sure. Yes. Four points. I thought that's what it was called. I'm like, where, is it a trick? Hello, Time Roller, well, raiding with a party of 13. Thank you for that raid. All right. It is y'all. You're going to get in the, you're going for the delightful Ds. Okay. How well do we know this? Whatever it is. On a scale from one to 10, how well do you know card games? I think oh. we're pretty good here. What do you say? 10? I think, should we try for 10? Uh, seven. You don't think we could do better? Uh, you don't want seven or ten. All right, we don't. Want, okay. Those are K's. Those are K's. You're scared. You could. Okay, let's go for eight. Eight is another D. That's fine. Are you okay with that? Yeah, if we get card games, yeah. All right. In hearts, what is the value of the Queen of Spades? Thirteen. 
but I'll wait. <laughs> yeah, look, we got like four exclamation points there. <laughs> 13! She's 13, 13, 13, 13 points. Ding, 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 ding. We should get to go up 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I want to know what 10 was. Let's hear it. It's just for funsies. Place the following four strongest cards from the tarot deck from most to least powerful. The Empress, the Magician, the High Priestess, the Emperor. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that. So good call, unless you know your tarot cards, T. Because I don't... I would not have... I would have guessed. Yeah. Guess. I would have been... Um, okay. The Empress, the Magician, the High Prince, Priestess, the Emperor. It was going to go C, D, A, B. Was my guess. So... High Priestess, Emperor, the Empress, a, a, Magician. A, no, the Magician, the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor. Emperor's last, of course. <laughs> That's tough. I, I mean, it's been about 20 million years since I had a tarot deck. All right, give me an S. S. All right. On a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you know fossil fuels? Fossil fuels. Well, I was a chemistry major. I know, it was about 0%. <laughs> give me a 4. Because that puts me on a challenge space, and I want to do a challenge. All right. I haven't done a challenge. Okay. And I don't know it well enough for nine. Yeah. So I'm going to go four. What greenhouse gas is released into the atmosphere when fossil fuels are burned? Carbon dioxide. Is that your final answer? Four points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't right. even have to. You right. Don't even have to do that. Don't even have to get the answer. All right, you're on another D. What about these? <laughs> on a scale from one to ten, how well do you know The Simpsons? Bum 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 bum. Do we do four? Bum, I don't know how we zero do. says D. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, is that your final answer? Four points. <laughs> All right. Well, well, no. It's, no. Let's go for. You've never seen an episode of The Simpsons. What? That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> so you have to catch one. Do a one. But a one is going to be like Bart Simpson, and I'm wondering if a four is still multiple choice. Let's go with... The answer, answer to one is not Bart Simpson. Okay, well, you know what? It's probably Homer. Okay. Let's the answer go. to one is not Homer. All right, let's, I'm going to try four, and we'll pretend I know things. You ready? Yeah. Ready? You sure? Yeah. What is the name of the Simpsons' dog? <laughs> I know everybody. Dog, that's not even fair. Why are you helping? Jump me. Randall's little helper. <laughs> Sophia, it's three against one now. <laughs> Wow. It's been Three. so long. I was hoping for like a multiple choice. All right, I have to cut these because they You some, saw it? No, some well, some of the some of the challenges were in different spots. So I just cut it. Do it. All right. No, you can stay in, Jelfia. I'll take all of you on. Whoa. So <laughs> now I have to do 31 seconds, right? You're not gonna do well. Oh, what kind of smack talk is that? All right. You're not going to do well. Well, what? We'll, we'll let the, the, the people help you. No, I'm not good it's myself. It's for each question, for each thing. So what? this is called I Killed Mufasa. I Killed Mufasa. Name the following Disney characters who said the following lines. You get 10 seconds per thing. Okay. All right. I'm how, real. How do, you, how, do, how do you know what it is? Is it on the back? Yeah. I well, have how that. are you going to like turn it over Here. over time? Okay. I'm ready. Go. I'm 
real. I'm a real boy. Pinocchio. That cursed beast liked the taste of me so well that he followed me ever since. That cursed beast liked the cursed taste. Cursed beast liked the taste of me so well he followed me ever since. I don't know. Do I keep going? Yeah, it's 10 for every question, is it not? All right, so you should advance one space for the one you got right. I don't know. Uh, about, how about Jiminy Cricket? Okay, see, I never wanted to see a naked man again. Uh, Little Mermaid, I don't know. On the stroke of 12, the spell will be broken. Uh, Fairy Godmother. Yes. Um, I'm an ugly, stinky llama. Uh, whatever that thing is in, uh, King's New Groove. I don't know his name. I forgot his name, too. What is it? It's Emperor Kuzco. Oh. Uh, my only true love, darling, I live for furs. I worship furs. Uh, Cruella de Vil. Yes. To the phrase, my dear counselor, rob the poor to give to the rich. Robin Hood. Mm -mm. No, who is it? Prince John. Prince John. Uh, I have magic hair that grows when I sing. Rapunzel. Yes. When you're footloose and color free, you take nothing but the best. When you're footloose, then what? Footloose and color free. Color free? You, you take nothing but the best. Peter Pan. Tramp. Lady in the Tramp. You got four? Yep. Good. Pinocchio. So it was Captain Hook was that cursed beast like the taste of me so well he followed me ever since. Mulan was I never wanted. What was, what, what was that? You're, you're giving me the answer and then the question again. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Got it. Oh. I thought you. Oh. Oh. Got it. <laughs> Collar free. Everybody's giving you a hard time about Cusco. You know what? I don't even think I've seen Emperor's New Groove. Uh, I should. He says though. I got five of them, but I only got four of them. Yeah, four of them. I only got. I think I only got four. Pinocchio, Cruella de Vil, Fear Godmother, Cruella, and Rapunzel. Yeah, those four. Oh, she gave me the Emperor Cusco. Oh. But... If you're being nice. No. <laughs> I was going to allow Kuzco. <laughs> Actually, I've never seen the movie. I just knew what it was. I've never seen the movie. All um, right, so you are on the D again. Okay. There we go. On a scale from 1 to 10, how well do you know the National Hockey League? Zero. This is for Michael. So puck ball. It's, it's, it's Sports puck. Sports puck. Uh, I don't know. Oh, my God. We're going to go to uh, the this is a 10. We're going to go with... I mean, she... Look, it's the D. We're going to go with three, because maybe T will know the answer. Is that is that your final answer? Yeah, three, because I don't know. What country produces the highest number of NHL players? 42% I, in 2000. Canada. That's, that's not now... Let's go with Canada. Oh, the mayor of Canada is pointing no. to himself. <laughs> Our home uh, native land. Nice. What are you going? True. This. Patriotism. All right. Yes. On a scale of one to ten. The K. How well do you know great discoveries? Not a lot. Oh, he wants to know what to the ten question was for hockey. What Canadian team existed from 1979 to 1995 before moving to Denver to become Colorado? Back Nordiques. Right. Yeah, I know I'm right. And now <laughs> he's a hockey fan. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I want another challenge. I'm going to say six. Six. I'm hoping it's a science All discovery. All right. Uh, this is great dis discoveries. Which of Einstein's theories was it is good or physics was used in the design of the GPS system? Which of Einstein's discoveries theories theories was used in the design of the GPS system? God, I didn't get. Theory of geomagnetic fields? 
What is it? It's the theory of general relativity. No. I, False. I don't know. That was that is not no. <laughs> no. General rel let me see that question. General relativity is not used for GPS. It's used for it. That's ridiculous. No. Michael disagrees. Consult the what interwebs. I will. All right, we're on yellow again. How well do you know modern board games? All right, there's not a 12. I think we... 1, 2, 3, probably... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay, 12. with this. All right. The calculation using general relativity predicts that the clocks in each GPS satellite should get ahead of ground-based clocks by 45 microseconds per day. But that does that's not in the invention of GPS. That's just how it works. That's just one of the features of of how it works. It's it's fixing a bug in it. No. I disagree. <laughs> Fair enough. Ridiculous. All right. I think we're going to go with number uh, nine. To nine? To nine. We're going to go with nine and then read ten anyway. Yes, I'm salty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? We're going to do nine. What was the first game to use the term legacy game? Risk Legacy. That's your final answer. Uh, I'll, I'll let Brie, uh, or sorry, I'll let T... Risk Legacy, we're doing it. Yep. What's 10? What's 10? I want to know. What game won the 2021 Spill de Jars? 2021? Yes. I don't remember. It's well, a then you get it wrong. It's a blur. <laughs> micro Macro Crime City. Oh, okay, yeah. I would not have remembered that. All right, give him my next K. Your K. Yes, my K. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you know the Great Lakes? I don't know. Five. Which is the only Great Lake with no part of it in Canada? Canada? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know my Great Lakes. Lake Michigan. Yes. You're right. All right, you got to see. Oh, no, we're switching topics. On a scale from 1 to 10, how well do you know cereal brands? I would say decently well. Even though you only eat Cheerios. I eat Cheerios. Yes, I like Cheerios. Six? Sure. Let's do six. Well, making sure we're not going to land. That's, Challenge. That's okay. What? Yeah. Count that again, yeah. yes. Challenge. We'll try a challenge if we land it. Feeling lucky? Name four of the eight marshmallow charms in a box of lucky charms. Rainbow. What else? <laughs> I know there's a rainbow. Uh, clover. There's eight? Yes. Are there? There's got to be There stars. wasn't when I was. There's got to be stars. Um. Hard stars, horseshoes, clovers, and Got blue maloot. Yeah, I remember the song now that you say it. <laughs> Red hearts, orange stars. It used to be yellow moons. Green clovers, blue diamonds, and purple horseshoes. However, that that that's not the answer to this anymore. There's no. It's the moon is now blue. Blue. She did so it's not a blue diamond anymore. Oh. Which that's ridiculous. But I even knew Purple Horseshoes. Like, and that was like slightly after my time of eating Lucky Charms. But they've changed it. No, anyway. Know. Horseshoe, Clover, Blue Moon, Rainbow, Red Balloon, and Unicorn. I don't remember Unicorn. So. Six. <laughs> All right. Give me this. I got I to gotta catch up. Okay. Oh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you know Breaking Bad? 
He's seen it, but how well do you think you know it? Seven. What is the name of Walter and Skylar's baby daughter? Wow, I don't remember. Now I remember. What is the name of their baby daughter? Anybody in the chat want to help Michael out? Zero, never seen. Whoa, they were replaced in 1994. Whoa. Uh, that's a hard one. Because the baby wasn't born until later. Walt and what is her name? Skyler. Skyler. Yeah, the baby was born later. These are really hard last questions. Oh my god. Number one is Breaking Bad, a cartoon. Uh, the Los Pollos Hermanos commercials have cartoons in them. I love those. Um, the, the Los Pollos Hermanos uh, training videos. It's great. What is the baby's name? It's not Walt Jr. It's hard. It's 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 not a like common it's, it's name. Been, it has been too long. Yeah. It's... Um, it is it's been even longer. Maria. It is Crystal Beth. <laughs> Crystal <laughs> Beth wins wins the internet for the day. Uh it's Holly. Um, I mean, it is hard. Oh. All right, here's your challenge. All right, how many do we need? Identify the food described below. The fewer cute clues you'll need to answer, the more spaces you will advance. You can attempt one answer. One answer after every clue. One answer. Are you ready? Okay. They belong to the, for 10 spaces, they belong to the, Mytilidia animal family. Mytilidia animal family. I don't know what that is. Do you maybe, want to give a guess? Maybe T knows. M Y T I L I D A. What's what? listening? What food is this? They belong to the Mytilidia animal family. <laughs> That's okay, T. Everybody is against me. <laughs> this is how this works. Food? Uh, yeah, I don't think we know. All right. For nine spaces, they're available year-round in seafood markets. Cheerios. <laughs> seafood markets. There's your answer. No. I said one answer. Clams. One answer. And it comes from my mouth. One answer. I'll do clams. For eight spaces, they're rich in iron, minerals, and vitamin C. Scallops. For seven spaces, hundreds of tons are sold every year. Shrimp. For six spaces, they're harvested in Maine, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire. Lobster. For five spaces, you can find them fresh in brine, freeze-dried, canned, or smoked. Tuna. For four spaces, they keep three days when fresh. Huh? <laughs> Anchovies. For three spaces, you can serve them in cream, hot mustard, beer, tomato sauce, or white wine. <laughs> the look on your face. <laughs> Muscles. Three spaces. One, two, yeah. three. Trust me. Oh. For two spaces, they have a shell. For one space, they're an edible mollusk. 
I am not a seafood person. I am stuck on this. All right. How well do you know Freddie Mercury? Boy. Depends. Um, I mean, that was that one time, but we just talked. Um, <laughs> I swear. Um, uh, one, two, three, four. Freddie Mercury. Five. Five. Going five. Okay. What year did Freddie Mercury die of pneumonia? Mm. Give or take three years. Oh, give or take three years. What? It wasn't 64, nor was it 84. <laughs> Nineteen ninety eight. When? It was nineteen ninety one. Was the actual year? Dang it! Nineteen eighty eight to nineteen ninety four. Right, I can count. I was letting everybody know in case they can't. I can count. <laughs> I'm scared from one to ten. How well do you know gardening? You're only four spaces from the end. So let's go with four. Is it annual or perennial plants that typically live for more than a year? That was my first thought, so perennial, let's go. Oh! All right, give me another C. It's hard, huh? No, it's not. I, was... I just I'm pushing myself because I'm behind. Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, how well do you know John Lennon? Not well. Not well for me. Four. Was John Lennon's full name? Was John Lennon's full name at the time of his death? John Paul Gerald. Gerard Lennon, John Paul Gerard Lennon, John Winston Ono Lennon, or John Michelle Pepper Lennon. Take the Ono one. Yep, that was correct. Yeah, I figured that he took he took Yoko's last name. Wow. Did you know his murderer? Yeah. Um, can't think of it off the top of my head. Yeah. All right, here's your question. Uh, Have you been looking at it? Did not look at it. Name five of the 14 non... Now, before you start answering, you get 10 guesses. Name five of the 14... Oh, you could actually read this. I need to turn it over. That's fine. I did not actually read it, but yeah. Rank each author... By total books sold as of 2022. Uh -oh. Stephen King, J.R.R. Tolkien, mm -hmm. J.K. Rowling, Agatha Christie. <laughs> Good, I can catch up. The total just books sold. Rank them by total books sold. King, Tolkien, Rowling, Christie. What order? From top to bottom. My gut says Rowling King Christy Zulkin. Is that your final answer? No. King has to have the most, do you think? I don't know. My gut is saying J.K. Rowling. First. That's a lot of books. I just remember working when the book came out. This is just absolute nuts. You probably could have been five of the 14 known just judges on American Life. Oh, yeah, I could have probably actually. Um, yeah, I, I could have. <laughs> um, uh, uh, 
Flip the battery. All right, flip a coin. I'll be heads, she'll be tails, and then we'll go with that one. Tails. So we'll go with King, Rowling, Christy, Zulkin. Zulkin? Yeah. Tolkien? Tolkien, Zulkin. Yeah, you know, the game. You want to try the other one? I did want to do Rowling first, but we'll go with P because she's. Look at the Christy. Really? Yes. Did not know. Rowling, King, Tolkien. Rowling was more than King anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I think I still have some salt left. I can pass you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Constancio said Agatha twice. Okay. How well do you know organized crime? Not real well. Uh, give me a four. Al Capone went to prison after being convicted of five counts of... Tax evasion. What crime? I didn't even flip it over and finish talking before you told me, so that's, like, uncool. <laughs> Yeah. One of the few things I know on organized crime. Here's your next one. Should have went with you, for sure. Killer animals. Dogs, snakes, mosquitoes, or snails. Which animal is responsible for more human deaths annually? Gotta be mosquitoes. What say you? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. You get one guess. I knew. I gotta ask the, the team of the chat. Gotta be. Yeah, mosquitoes. Gotta be. Is that your answer? Yeah. Wrong? What? <laughs> that was way easier than the other one. That was way easier. <laughs> that was way easier. <laughs> so that is CDSK. We are the champions. My friends. The pigs win it. Pig is a permanent part of this box. Oh. No! No! <laughs> That's my pig. It's a good playing piece, though. So this is CDSK by Randolph and Hatchet. Hatchet. And... Yes. These playing pieces, but super cool questions. Yeah. It, it's a good trivia game. Yes. I You do have to kind of know stuff, but, you know. It's not, it's not so such a big deal if you don't. That is correct. It helps when you have a teammate who might also know things, too. Yeah, it would help to have at least a teammate, period. <laughs> hey, you got pretty far all on your own. Uh, it was not far enough. <laughs> yeah, this it, the scale helps, too. So you get to choose, like, yes. what level, how well you think you know something. Like, is Breaking Bad a cartoon? Yeah, though you sort of have to... <laughs> Like, if you get behind, you have to get desperate and go with the eights and nines. Yeah, if you think you know anything about the subject matter. So I was hoping you would just get stuck for a long time because there was no way I was going to get a nine organized crime. You don't know. And I tried the Holly thing. It just didn't work. Yeah, it was tough. Yeah. It's like, because you get to be specific about things. Like, with the Breaking Bad one, mm -hmm. like, number seven or, no, number eight, I think, was name the episode of the last episode in the season three or something like i don't know names of television shows I, I don't know either i don't know so yeah it can get kind of obscure with things like that so you have to really know something yeah you know what episode we're watching on hell's kitchen no yes seven chefs compete <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay every every uh episode it's one fewer chef compete it's a trick question yeah, that... <laughs> So that is CDSK. Yes. Uh, if you enjoyed this uh, playthrough, you should check out this game. If you enjoyed this video uh, with the teach and playthrough, then come join us on twitch.tv slash boardgamersteph, where uh, we play at least three games every single uh, Dream. time that we stream. Oh, I forgot to mention. Oh, thanks to Randolph and, and Hashit for providing this game to us. Need to mention that before the video is over. Uh, but yeah, join us on twitch.tv slash boardgamersteph and we will play three games every single stream Wednesday, Sunday, 5 p.m. Central. Be there where we play all, all the games. games. That's right.
And for those on Twitch, we will be right back. Oh my goodness.